man spreading. <laughs> Crotch shot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, very lucky today to have uh, Andrew from Back Office Show, Dr. A, with us. Hello. And also Neil from Retro Man Cave. Hello. <laughs> and um, what we've done is we've just put a whole bunch of stuff on the table to have a quick look and fiddle around with. Uh, Trevor the Tortoise <laughs> is here. Um, it's just very cool to actually be able to feature Trevor on my little show. Trevor got to meet a real tortoise. Trevor got to meet Yoshi yesterday, absolutely. So if you guys have haven't been to Neil's channel, um, you, I'm sure you have, but if you haven't, then you should go there and check out Neil's channel and also uh, Andrew's channel as well. So this is Trevor the Tortoise, I present to you Trevor, and Trevor is what kind of a joystick? Um, he's a joystick with... Um, Let me take that for you. Yeah, it's got the two uh, connectors here, so you can use it for pretty much any 8 or 16-bit computer with a DB9 cable, but you probably wouldn't want to because it just is an instant RSI creator. It's horrible. Oh, wow. But yeah. he's a massive got for the channel so it's not about functionality no, it's, it's character it's, it's, yeah and Trevor's <laughs> got a lot of character without a shadow of a doubt and on the subject of joy joysticks 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 you you've done something quite uh, yeah. quite cool here haven't so you this is uh, Kempston Competition Pro Neil it's, it's actually from Neil's man cave I, I pinched it off one of his shelves <laughs> and um I've, I've modified a USB board to fit inside it and I uh, just USB'd it so we can get some life out of it. Yeah. That's good because you can buy USB competition pros, but they're not cheap. So if, it, you know, if there's an option to convert old ones, that's really nice. Well, there's something else I've noticed as well. The ones you can buy, they're not, as I say, they're not cheap, but also if they've added additional buttons, which is nice, but it, does, it means it's not the original yeah. plastics. So if you really want the old-fashioned creaky horrible uh, feel yeah, yeah. you really want to go with original <laughs> I've got one of those USB to DB9 converters but they sit outside the joystick so it's nice that you've got it all in there you doing a video on it? Anything I've got it? a video coming out soon or it might already be out depending on how lazy Howard's feeling <laughs> <laughs> um, and actually the board I used is just reclaimed I made something for Neil that's in his channel and it, there were some spare parts left over that I just shoved it in this so it's, it's quite likely it's pieces and pieces, pieces that people have I can use. Is there um, is there a possibility of replacing the micro switches in there for something a little bit more positive? There absolutely is, and I think this is probably the reason that Neil discarded this in the first place is that the micro switches are a bit naff, um, but they're a standard size. So you can just pop them out. Um, and also, I've seen this. You can replace these horrible leaf spring buttons with actual micro switch versions. You could put genuine sunwork parts. Genuine sunwork parts. That's a so yeah, you can, you can make that um, as clicky as you like. Um, and some people say they don't like them to be overly clicky, but I think I I prefer the click now. That positive feedback. Yeah. Especially during Daily Thompson's. Decade. Yeah, exactly. I, I I really like the what you said uh, on a on a Twitter post. It was like putting a wooden spoon in a large tub of custard and, <laughs> and moving it around. Yeah, like changing gears on a no, yeah. transit. Yeah, <laughs> get in there. But that's exactly how they. I remember them being though. I mean, it's mm. that is how they feel, but it's just not for me. So we've we've got a, we've got a plethora of stuff on the table actually. Um, uh, I I went. Uh, I did a bit of a charity shop haul the other day and um, 20 quid got me a, a Nintendo 3DS wow. uh, which charity. is yeah, a local charity shop and it came with a docking port now what the charity shop wouldn't do is they wouldn't give me the power uh, supply because it hadn't been approved yeah. um, uh, electrical safety test failure or whatever um, so what I did is I took this docking station and I wired a USB cable into the docking station so that you could literally just plug that into a USB slot somewhere pop it on there and then when the when the DS is in place two little pins pop out here and charge it up mm. so um, so I haven't had to spend any money on sorting that out uh, this is a problem with our local charity shops is you can't find a lot of old electrical goods because they need to be pat tested don't yeah they? exactly that's a portable appliance test there is yeah. a electronic specific charity shop near me in Chippenham it's electronics uh, electrics and beds 
but it's just 99% beds. Do they do a of much in the way of beds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you remember those in the American TV shows and you'd put a, you'd put a quarter in it and the whole bed would shake, you know? <laughs> what if there's some irony, though, that you might go into a charity shop one day and actually find a pat tested machine on the side? Yeah. But yeah. I'd say, no, sorry, sir. <laughs> no, that, that pat tested machine has yeah, failed his pat testing. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was another recent charity shop find I bought with me. I, I don't know where that's gone but I bought you that Switch controller oh um, yeah so Nintendo Switch yeah. controller I found uh, yeah. in a charity shop for one pound one pound unbelievable boxed yeah. with new cables and everything it's in the kitchen it's in the kitchen oh no it's there yeah. um, but yeah so, so yes yeah, so I do have a Switch so I was very appreciative of that and um, I think I paid Neil off in glasses of beer or something yeah. last night <laughs> so um, the other thing that, that I did recently um, actually for the wife more so um, the PS Vita uh, rightly or wrongly, and, and I'm sure there's a few people who will probably be a little bit upset about this, but I actually hacked this. Uh, so this uh, now plays ROMs. Um, so it has an emulator on there, um, RetroArch, um, and it plays loads and loads and loads of ROMs. And the screen on this is magnificent. Mm, when you, I don't think anyone will be too upset. I think no. this is quite a popular choice for uh, emulation, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> well, there's a K101 here, which is, which is sort of cool. Um, and we might as well just fire that up. I forgot how to turn it on. You press the button here, do you? Yeah, you were playing with it. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah. I had a quick glance. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's actually pretty good. It, it certainly doesn't have the build and feel of a, a, even a GBA or an SP. But you do have quite a nice bright screen. I'm just going to try to play up something yeah. um, on that. Um, and I think if you've got kids and you want, you know, the sort of the experience without the... Cost? Not really the cost, because you can get a GBA or an SP for probably like £15, £30. You can get a DS even, you know, it'll still play some of these games. Um, but it's that angst, because if you love these old things, mm. you, they still don't want your kids to break them at whatever price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. But there's this, you're not going to... It doesn't matter so much, does it? Yeah. But to be honest, though, I think if I was going to if I was going to buy an emulator, an emulator like the PS Vita with its with its lovely lithium-ion battery and that massive screen on it, thank you very much, Neil, <laughs> um, compared to the K101 over here, thank you very much, Andrew, um, yeah, the, 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 to be honest, a PS Vita all day long. But yeah. there is something, there is something if you buy this, though, I think, which is kind of neat. I'm going to yank it while it's on, yeah. You are getting your effective, your um, R4 or yes. EverDrive type card, that's part of the kit. And I would like to shove that into a, an old uh, GBA because I suspect it will work. Do you work. reckon that will work? It will work, yeah. Do you, you think? You can buy them anyway. Really? Um, so I don't know what a K card Revo K1 is, but I'm suspecting yeah, okay. it will do that. In fact, there's no... No, you're right. It won't work. It's just an SD card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have the gubbins you need. There's no battery. There's no anything. Oh, that's pretty, I'm disappointed. And this, um, this, my favourite of all the portables. <laughs> well, for me, for me, this was just brilliant. Elite. Um, I spent so many hours playing Elite on this and trying to dock my spacecraft. But um, yeah, the Acorn Electron, uh, just magnificent piece of old kit. So was kit. that your first? Uh, it was my very first computer. Um, not this particular one. Um, I, actually, it's funny. I met Neil because I saw Neil's video uh, of him uh, refurbishing an Acorn Electron, mm -hmm. retro brighting all of the keys and. Mm. And I sort of recognised approximately where Neil lived, the sort of area, and I, I got, got in touch with him, and um, so popped around, and um, and and, and the, you're the inspiration for me. And I still haven't gotten around to fixing this yet. I'm not sure if there's a problem with it. Okay. I believe there is a problem with it. If I try to power it up, um, the light comes on, but it doesn't beep. And I believe they should beep when you fire them oh, up. If, if you can do all the typing and stuff, I, I, I've got some BBC micros. Yeah, and yeah. Some Sometimes they don't yeah. beep, or they beep a weird way, and it depends on if there's some mods in it. Oh, uh, okay, right. It's right. interesting. It's, 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 it's not bad, though. It's not in bad condition. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bit of dirt on the keys, I think that's pretty yeah. original, colour-wise, because yeah. it wasn't white, white. It was a slightly... No, it was cream, cream. yeah. You've yeah. even got the dust cover there on the uh, expansion. On the expansion yeah. port. I've got a cassette player with it, too. But, uh, What's Bradshaw here? You've got written... I don't know. I have no idea. I'm guessing Bradshaw is probably the people that owned it originally, I'm okay. assuming, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just carefully written their name on the bottle. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Cool. Sort of shame with the Electron, though, wasn't it, in that... I think it wasn't the hardware, it sort of... Um, 
double did double duty on the memory side that's right. it made it incompatible with the beep really yeah so it sort of was half the speed effectively when it was accessing memory okay yeah. and that was the one thing that okay. broke them a little bit uh, there was a, there was a workaround found sort of several years after its life <laughs> which made the warehouses it a, a lot this. quicker and you know um, would have solved a lot of problems with it but they, they didn't want it to be as quick as a BBC. It was the budget alternative, wasn't it? So this could have been... If this was earlier, this could have been the, the sort of ZX Spectrum. You think? Yeah. yeah. I mean, no. Change the face of computing. It's all right for another day. Anyway, well, there we go. That's the uh, the lighting and setup test I over. Know, and... I, I, I want to see what this oh, is. Oh, right, okay. Show right. me what that is. All right, I'm not done yet. All right, okay. Right, right. <laughs> so this is the 3D printed laptop. Um, oh. And there it is. I haven't finished it yet. I've still got a little bit of work to do on it. So it's got 18650s in it, a little power supply here, and a Raspberry Pi 3 plus B plus 3 plus whatever it might happen. This is a Bluetooth keyboard. A little Bluetooth keyboard, yeah. Thanks. So what I have yet to do do is put a little audio system in here. It's all very simple, but it's all 3D entirely, 3D printed. Um, You've gone you for the Pokemon glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think about that to be honest. But um, what yeah. I'd like though, Howard, is to see you once it's all finished and you're happy with it. Bring it on an aeroplane trip. Yes, and see what people think of all of those 18650s. I reckon that's going to be awesome, mate. I think that's so all nice mess. Nice yes, I think that, yeah. that that's just going to be fantastic. So. Um, yeah, I didn't know if you brought that around just to show people or if you were... Uh, no, that's for you. Super. I, I pinched it from Neil anyway, so well, the fir- uh, the I first can give you something I've seen. Yeah. The first thing we'll do then is we'll, is we'll get that um, we'll get that on there. Sorry about all the clunking and banging. The microphone is right here in front of the three of us. And um, that's so. your wooden marvel. Yes, indeed. And that, uh, that was many, many hours of, of, of labour. Oh, that's really yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the missile switch. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, so yeah, I put that together. And, uh, I, I bought a router. My wife bought it for me for Christmas, I think, or something. Um, chucked it in a workbench and routed the... The, the wood came from my mate Rory um, up in Glasgow, which is very kind of him to send me that. Uh, and then inside we've got an iPad battery inside of it um, a Raspberry Pi uh, again and uh, uh, a display and, uh, and, and an audio system and, and the key thing actually is it's got bullet shelves for buttons um, and Are these genuine Rifle compatible parts. Yes, they absolutely are. <laughs> they, they they were they were given to me by a friend of mine that does some um, that shoots for fun and doesn't kill animals or anything like that. He just enjoys uh, just fires a gun in the air. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this again, this is running um, RetroPie, um, uh, the emulator, uh, and and plenty of ROMs and that kind of good stuff. Again, another one that would be good in an airport. I mean, that should raise a few eyebrows. Yeah. Well, the missile switch might set it off. Yeah, you need, to, you need a big yeah. shotgun shell button there as well. I, I, I the yeah, well, it might work on the that, batteries. Actually. Oh my oh. goodness! Yes, that would be an awesome battery yes. format. Here we go. Yeah. The last games you played: Mario Kart on GBA, Donkey Kong Country Three, and Crash Nitro Kart. Oh, wow. you like your kart racing? Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> that might not have been me, but um... <laughs> right. Fan dabby dozy. Dabby dozy indeed. Cool. Well, so it's a uh, good night from me. It's good night from him. Oh, yeah, I've got nothing to say now. <laughs> it's been <laughs> pretty nice. <laughs> Again, down the two runnies. Should we do that? Should we do the three runnies once more? So it's good night from me. It's good night from him, and it's good night from them. <laughs> Cheers, guys! Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye. <laughs>